Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this session I am going to talk about one of the important announcement that has been happened into Microsoft Build. Microsoft is introducing Power Apps Ideas. Now with Power Apps Idea we can create the Power Apps with the natural language. You wanted to know more about it? So let's check the entire announcement with me in detail. We will be talking about what is Power Apps Idea, how the natural language is easy and useful to create the Power Apps functions and at last we will be talking about when it will be available as a preview and talk about different things. So let's get started. But before that, let me talk you one important announcement. I have created my own Instagram page where I am uploading different shorts, tips and tricks related power platform. The Insta ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box. So do follow me on my Instagram over there. So now let's get started and talk about the announcement of Power Apps idea with me. But before that, here is an intro. During Microsoft Build, Microsoft has announced Power Apps Idea. With Power Apps Idea, we can create the app using natural language. Now the question arises in your mind that how that will happen. Let's talk about that thing in detail with me throughout this entire session. Here I have one gallery control and I am going to ideas section. And I am just typing in natural language show me the customers whose subscription is inactive and living in US. So I'm just typing this natural language and what happened here is it will automatically provide me the formula that I need to use into my app. And once I apply that formula that is applicable to my gallery. So user can ask the question in the natural language and the power FX formula is generated automatically over here. So this is one of the coolest announcement that I can see over here. So this is one most important thing. Second important thing that it is also supporting PBE means programming by example. Now what do we mean by that? Let me explain you. Let's say for an example here you have an email address. But here you are providing that from this email I only need this value. So what happened here is it has generated the formula for that thing over here. So what happened here is based on the pattern that you have provided into your idea it has generated that output automatically for you. If you are a user of Power BI or Power Query it is similar like that thing like you are providing some example and based on the example it will generate the formula for you automatically for a string type. So this is another cool important thing that has been announced during Microsoft build. Now you have a question that you know we are going to use this amazing techniques for creating the natural language formula using power effect as well as we are using PBE means programming by example how that process is going to work. Let's talk about that. So basically for this amazing technique Microsoft is uses OpenAI GPT-3 and Pros SDK. Now what do we mean by GPT? GPT means Generative Pre-trained Transformer and Microsoft has a collaboration with OpenAI. So with OpenAI GPT-3 and Pros SDK this amazing generation of PowerFX formula as well as programming by example is possible. Now let me talk about some interesting facts about this technique that has been used. So basically this pros research and engineering team is a part of Microsoft research and they develop the API for program synthesis. Program synthesis meaning by programming by examples and natural language. And pros is already integrated into Power BI, Excel and Visual Studio. The use of GPT-3 and pros within the Power Apps has undergone the extensive training with built-in safety control to ensure that no harmful output is being generated. So it is properly trained. Like let's say for an example if you are typing something in your natural language that doesn't mean it will give you any random result to you and it will show unrelevant data to you. So it will, it will not generate any harmful result for you. One more thing that uh, for GPT-3 and for prose language whatever the formula that has been generated the developers have full control on that meaning whatever the output that is generated by this AI feature 
which is showing as a preview to you and if you still wanted to change you can change the formula and make the tweaks over there so developers has total control for the same so this is how the backend model for this natural language generation as well as PBE means programming by example works right now the question arises in your mind that okay this is one of the coolest announcement now we are able to write our power fx formula with natural language so when it is available so it will be available as a preview in june 2021 and initially it will support only north america region with english language and uh, microsoft is planning to expand additional region support later this year so if your tenant is a part of north america then it will be available soon in june 2020 for you to test now when it will be initially launched how many things are supported let me talk about that so uh, during the launch time it will support gallery and data tables control as well as the formula which are support uh, at initially were search sort sort by columns filter first end and last end so with this formula you can generate and build your logic on top of the gallery and data tables so this is the overall information for the new announcement of power apps idea in future when i will get more information and when this tool is launched out i will prepare some cool demos and real example on top of that at that time i will create a new video for that and the video link will always down below in the description box with that the announcement link for this particular feature is also available in the description box so go there and check it out so just share me your opinion that how do you like this feature are you eagerly waiting for this feature just provide your feedback in the comment section If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel I am uploading new video related power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and sharepoint every day on my channel so make sure that you never miss any updates from my channel if you are looking for any consultancy here is a website link click on that and send me a note on from the contact page If you wanted to follow me on all my social media handles here is the link click on that it will be redirecting you to this page from here you can follow me on all my social media handles if you wanted to follow me on twitter and instagram just follow me on this two platform for instagram i am uploading daily tips tricks and shorts related power platform so make sure that you follow me so you will never miss any updates from my instagram page The Insta ID is very simple which is power platform guy simply go to Instagram search for power platform guy and do follow me over there also the link to follow on Instagram is also available in the description box at last if you wanted to follow on different power platform audiogram then here is a podcast link click on that it will be redirecting you to this page from where you can listen your different audiogram related power platform on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more if you are interested for different short tips and tricks related power platform here is a separate channel called digital dhruvin just click on that it will redirecting you to this page subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well because here i am only uploading short videos related power platform This is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing tips tricks and amazing updates have a great day goodbye